Hi, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will show you how you can get a CapCut Pro at 50% off, which is about 209 Malaysia Ringgit. What you are seeing here is in Malaysia Ringgit, and 209 is about $50 US, and that is per year. I'm talking about per year. So before we jump into this, the way you, if you want to get CapCut Pro for free is the, the old method is always to use the invite friend. And then you can just copy this link and then invite your friend to download the CapCut. If not, you can always do it yourself. For every referral that you get, you will be able to get CapCut Pro for 7 days. So you can create a temporarily email account or disposable email account and then join, download and then uninstall it, clear your browser cache and then do it for 10 times. Then you will get about 70 days of CapCut Pro for free. If you do it the invite friend way and the max is that you can get 70 days, you can probably spend about 3 to 4 hours to get about 2 months of CapCut Pro for free. But the CapCut Pro that you get does not come with the AI credit. So if you are using some of the feature of AI from the CapCut, then this method won't work. Then you have to purchase a plan. So before I come into this page here, let me log in to a, another Gmail account because we usually use a Gmail account to log in to CapCut. So I'm going to log into a USA email account right now. You can log in with Facebook or Google. So I always use Google. And then you'll come to this page that asks you to continue. And if we continue and open a cap card, then you'll come to this page. And this is in US dollar. So we can see from here, if you join monthly, there will be 11.98. And then if you join per month, this monthly is referring to renew every month. And this is just one time. One time. So if you want to use CapCut for one time only, for one month only, then you go for this. Because some of us, we don't want a renewal every month. Or if you want to go yearly, and this is a renew yearly. So this is auto renew. Some of us, we don't like auto renew kind of thing. And you go for this one year, which is higher. So always go for the auto renew plan, which shall be the cheapest. So just take note of this, which is 105 US dollar for the CapCut Pro. So the next thing I want to do is that I want to log into a Malaysia Gmail account. So when I log into a Malaysia Gmail account and open it with CapCut and now when I join it, it will show me in Malaysia dollar. So this is Malaysia Ringgit. So this is auto renew every month, which is about 30 Malaysia Ringgit and this is per month and this is auto renew per year and this is just one time for one year. So let's go for this auto renew per year and then we can check. So for 209 Malaysia ringgit and we convert to US dollar, there will be about $50 per year. We just say 50% if you are using a USA Gmail account to subscribe to CapCut. So with that, I'm going to subscribe to this because I've been using CapCut Pro a lot recently. I've been testing out the uh, one month for the last month and I think I'm going to go for the uh, auto renew yearly. So I'm going to purchase it and some of us, we don't like to have something that is auto renew because auto renew, if you decided not to want it, you need to cancel it. So the way to do it which I like is to use an app called Revolut. If you do not have this, then I suggest that you download it. It doesn't work for all the country. So depending on your country, 
If not, you can just use any virtual credit card or pre prepaid credit card. So how this Revolut work is we are going to download and use a mobile phone, the mobile app. So what is good about this Revolut is that this is a mobile app and then inside all you have to do is to top up money to the account and then you can create a virtual credit card. So I think there is you can create up to 10 or 20 virtual credit card. So what I like to do is for every app or for every different places like Amazon or CapCut in this case, I will create a different card. So right now I'm creating a new card to use for CapCut Pro and then I will just call it CapCut Pro and I will call it, uh, I will name the card as 1st October because today is the 1st of October. So that will remind me to get my cap card will be auto renew on the 1st of October. In case if I don't want, then I can always just terminate the card. Or they also have a function that is a disposable virtual credit card. That means you use it one time and then it will auto destroy. So next year they can't charge you. So don't go for this because this is just a one time one year which is going to cost more, so always go for this. Even if you are going to use it for one year and not going to renew it next year. If you use your own credit card, then you have to remember to turn off the auto renew before next year is up. So I always choose this option. Then it can auto renew and I'm going to purchase it because I use CapCut a lot. So they will show you the original price is this and then the discount is this. So right now is the purchase price. And so after entering all the information, I'll just click purchase and I'll just allow it. And I have to go back to the app because they are asking me to verify it if I'm making this purchase. So there's something secure on this Revolut. So once I confirm on my app, then this will go through and I will be in the Pro. So right now I'm in the Pro version so I can start using the CapCut Pro because I've joined it last month to test out CapCut Pro and I like it so I'm going to use it. And if you have just joined it with the one year plan and you decided that you don't want the auto renew, you can always cancel it here. But in this case, I will leave it because I got a Revolut card and that is going to remind me also. So the trick to get a 50% discount off is that you need a, to log in to a Malaysia Google Gmail account. But we can see from here that we don't have a lot of other feature. If you realize you don't have the other feature, please watch my this video. Basically, we have to use a uh, NordVPN. Basically, the best place to connect to is actually a USA server. Because when you use a USA server, you unlock everything. Early on, we don't have the AI video translator, long video to short, and script to video. And once we connect to a USA server, we have all the thing unlock and we can start using it there's no difference whether you are subscribing from Malaysia or subscribing from USA that doesn't matter the pro version work the same so early on we don't have all this video translator long video to short script to video we don't have all this but right now we have and I'm still logging in to the same account So that is one thing to take note of. So now the big question is how do we get a Malaysia Gmail account? So with that, we need no VPN. But we are going to connect to a Malaysia server first. So once we are connected to a Malaysia server, always double check it. And this is showing you that this is a Malaysia server. So right now we can start the creating our Gmail.
just to confirm it one more time yes this is a Malaysia server so we can start with our Gmail creation this is your usual way of creating a Gmail so we can click click on this create a new account for personal use and then, as usual we will go through the creation process of the Gmail and then you always remember all this whether are you entering real or fake information you have to always remember this so 1st January 1977 although it doesn't matter but always remember it and this part here you need you need to remember your Gmail if you are creating one so I'm going to enter in my password a password that you think is secure So for this, you can enter your phone number and if you have run out of phone number, you can look up at the last video which you can get a harsh lifetime USA, Canada or UK number and receive an OTP code. For this email creation, you don't need a Malaysia phone number. So you can use USA, if you are in another country, you can use your own number. That doesn't matter. So I'm using uh, my hash number to receive the OTP code. Always enter a recovery email because now you are logging into a Malaysia IP address. Always remember that. So you need to enter a recovery email and then you click next because if you don't have the recovery email and next week you try to log in to this email account using a USA IP address you may have some problem so always enter your recovery email so from here we have created our Malaysia Gmail account so basically that's it that's how you create a CapCut Pro Malaysia account and get it for a discount. Let me check my, yeah, this is a USA server and I want to launch my CapCut again because I saw the missing feature just now. Yeah, so it's back. So as long as you're connected to a USA IP address, you get all these special features in a CapCut. So the trick to do it is that you have to create a Malaysia Gmail account and the way to do it is that you use the NordVPN to connect to a Malaysia IP address first. Make sure that is a Malaysia IP address. Then you start to create your Gmail account. Once that Gmail account is created, enter your recovery email and add a recovery phone number to make sure that the Gmail is secure. Once that is done, you can use that account to log into the CapCut because CapCut only detect where where the Gmail account is created, which country. And it doesn't matter if you're logging in from the United Kingdom or United States or Singapore or Malaysia or China or China, no. I mean, any other country you log in, you can still get the discounted rate of 50% because for the Malaysia gmail account then you're on the malaysia charges for the CapCut pro which is 209 ringgit for a year subscription so that's all for now and i hope you enjoy the video and that is how you get the CapCut pro at 50 percent off thank you very much please share the video if you like i will see you on the next video